my life was just going fucking down the wrong way and I needed to get back in the gym and I needed to get my health and do my thing and so that started with with sobriety so seven months now about going strong and and just really investing in health you know I I partnered with a uh, a biohacking team to get all my nutrition right without getting just optimum levels of, of athleticism and when the when you get your body right and when the vessel's right the head gets right and uh and putting all those pieces into play and my life started to come back together everything started to you to really pull back and all these different avenues of success and 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 growth and, and places and uh it came to came to me and then you know being in there and feeling the energy with perillo and cheeto I mean, there's no one more real than perillo fucking guy took my world title <laughs> it's a small fucking world i mean who better to work with than the guy that knows my weaknesses right so fuck um and uh drawing inspiration from cheeto too you know I'm a fucking guy's a little gangster i love his energy and you got to learn from the young bucks sometimes there's always little things like you know just running Running, the foundation, the balance, the fucking density in your legs. When you're fucking strong down low, it's like it just builds the foundation of what's upstairs. And the mind, and the, you know, it's all out of you. You can stop at any time on the road and quit, but or you can keep fucking going. And, uh, you know, a lot of those things I pulled from that little motherfucker and uh, has strengthened me and put me back here. And uh, my life is, you know, learning, learning what is health, you know. Almost like, what is it? What is health, right? Health is wealth. Health is the most ultimate luxury in life. If we all had our health, then, you know, we have nothing. So, um, correcting, we're building tendencies and problems every day. You know, our circulation is going down. We're all fucking dying at a certain rate. If you're not pricking, you're poking, you're moving, you're trying to fight that, you're going to fall that much faster. So, it's learning the corrective patterns of life and increasing circulation and decreasing inflammation and fucking getting all the toxicity out of your body. Um, all these things that which led to me to believe that I could fucking fight at the best. And so once I felt that, it was like, you know, let's go test myself against the best. Let's go to AK, let's go to fucking Florida. Let's go around here and let's fucking feel it out. Guess what, I still fucking got it. Nice, last thing for me, Luke. I mean, the big moment, as you said, you got a dangerous guy, you're back. You want to win this fight, you want to fight for a title. But I'm just curious, this phase of your career, do you view this as like a long-term return to the sport? Like, you, you know, you're fully back and you love it and you're in it. Or is this just like, come in, get gold, get out, you know, prove the point? It's a one-two punch. One-two punch. That's it. I mean, this is it, man. I want to come. My last fight at middleweight was against Yoel Romero for the world title. And he missed weight by three pounds to gain an advantage, and God knows what else he was fucking doing. 